Hey guys, this is Greg with the QC Rock Academy, and I made this video to show you how to make these plastic shields to separate the vocal students from the instructor. Uh, we made a few of these for our school, so it's really just a piece of plexiglass, some PVC, some zip ties. Fairly easy to make. You can do it for about $25. So follow along in the step-by-step -step video, and you can make some for your own school. So what you're going to need to go buy are two 10 foot long PVC pipes that are 3 quarter inch. Then you're going to need two 3 quarter inch 90 degree elbows, four 3 quarter inch caps, and four 3 quarter inch T connectors. You also need one 28 by 30 inch sheet of acrylic or plexiglass. The tools you'll need, you'll need a tape measure, a marker to mark the pipes. You also need a drill with two different drill bits, you need a 1 8 inch and then also a 3 16 inch. Uh, you'll need a saw to cut the pipes or you can use a hand saw or a PVC cutter. And then just this can of WD-40 to use as a lubricant. So you want to start by measuring 33 inches on one of the 10 foot pieces. And then you'll cut that. And you can save that piece as your template and just mark the next pieces at 33 inches. Easier than tape measure. So once you have four 33 inch pieces, you can move on to the next. You'll need to measure out 28 and a quarter inches. We're gonna need two of these. These are going to be the crossbar sections. Cut that. Good catch by my wife. So you got your two 28 and a quarter inch sections and then lastly mark out 8 inch for the footings. So you'll need four of those. Once you get the four of those, you'll take your caps and put one cap on each eight inch piece. And those are all your cuts of the pipes. So now we can assemble the frame. So you'll take the 90 degree elbows and put each of those onto one of the 33 inch pieces. And then you'll take one of the 28 and a quarter inch pieces, that'll be your crossbar over the, across the top. Flip that upside down, attach one of the T connectors to each end, and then the other 28 inch piece that'll be the middle crossbar take your other two 33 inch pieces put those in lastly take the last two T connectors and attach the 8 inch pieces with the caps as your footings like so. Same on the other side. T connector, the 8 inch pieces, and flip it around and you have your frame. Now for marking the holes for the drilling in the acrylic, you want to mark the top of the piece and leave the protective sheet on. 
For a little added protection, we're gonna use some masking tape on each of the corners. Acrylic can split very easily, so any extra protection is a good thing. So a few pieces here and there on all four corners. Then we're gonna measure. So from the top, you're gonna measure and mark one inch and three inches. And then from the side, measure one inch. And those X's will be where you drill. Now at the bottom, from the side, you're gonna measure it one inch. And then from the bottom up, you're gonna measure and mark at two inches. Just one hole at that end. So to start drilling, put a piece of drywall or wood underneath it. And with the WD-40, just spray a little bit on each of the X's, just to help the drill bit get through a little bit easier. So you start off with your 1 8 inch drill bit for the first holes. Go all the way through. There we go. Repeat that all the way around and then switch drill bits to the larger 3 16 and make the hole just a little bit bigger. For mine, I chose to spray paint the frames to make it look a little nicer and cover up the PVC printings and markings. And make sure you do this outside. Spend a little extra money on the better paint too. It turns out better. So once you're done spraying those, they look great and let them sit for at least 24 hours. For the final assembly, peel the protective sheet. And if you can, have somebody help you hold the acrylic as you zip tie to the frame. I didn't have that. And when you get it through, don't fully tighten it yet. Just get it there to secure it in place. Go across to the other side, zip tie that. Go through each side, put those in place. As I said, don't over tighten them quite yet. You know, make sure the acrylic is centered in the frame. And once you get all the holes zip tied, you can trim those uh, zip ties with some scissors and you're set. That's what it looks like. It puts a good protection between the student and the teacher, and it only costs around $25. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel.